All right, time now for double jeopardy. All right, two daily doubles in this round. And let's see our categories, shall we? And now the categories for the double jeopardy round. We have national parks, inventors, law, AKA, also known as 1896. And furniture. And player two gets to pick first. Player two, you go first. Inventors for 200. Okay. In 1753, George Rickmon was electrocuted trying to duplicate this man's lightning experiment. Oh. Player one. Uh, who is Benjamin Franklin? Sure. Player one, it's your turn. All right, let's go with also known as for 200. It's game show host Winston Conrad Martindale's famous nickname. What is Wink? Wink. You are correct. Also known as for 400. All right, pick again. This mentalist's real name is George Joseph Kresge Jr. How amazing. Who is Kreskin? All right, pick again. All right, uh, let's try... Law we'll for 200. Probate is the legal procedure by which one of these documents is proven valid or invalid. What is a will? Law we'll for 400. All right, pick again. It's defined as one who could testify regarding what he has seen. Player one. What is a witness? Just a little more specific, please. Oh, uh, okay, um... What is eyewitness? Yes, indeed. There we go. Law for 600. This word can mean to terminate a right or to quench a flame. Where are three? What is expunge? No. No, that's not correct. Extinguish. All right, pick again. How about national parks for 200? The Colorado River enters this national park at Marble Canyon. Where are three? What is Grand Canyon National Park? Right you are. And that's correct. Contestant three, it's your turn. National Parks for 400. Upper Geyser Basin in this park has dozens of thermal features. What is Yellowstone National Park? Player three, it's your turn. National Parks for 600. Palatial bathing establishments line Bathhouse Row in this Arkansas park. What is Hot Springs National Park? Player three, you choose. National Parks for 800. This state's two national parks are Guadalupe Mountains and Big Bend. Player one. What is New Mexico? Good 
Good guess, but no. No, it's not New Mexico. Where to? That's it. Exactly. Texas. Where to? Texas was the one. National Parks for Thousand. The whole of Moss's Trail lies in the whole rainforest of this Pacific Northwest Park. Player three. What is Olympic National Park? Why, yes. Player three, it's your turn. All right, we have, well, almost a freeway tie. 1890, 1896 for 200. In 1896, this candy-coated popcorn and peanut mixture got its name. Anybody? What is Cracker Jack? Player three, you choose. Furniture for 200. One may be dining, Parsons, or drawing. Player three. What is a footstool? Oh, I'm sorry. That's no. Here is table. Player three. 1896 for 400. Answer. Answer. A daily double. Player three. Going for a thousand. Let's see the clue. Prudential Insurance began using this landmark rock in its ads. Player three. What is Ayers Rock? That is in. No, that's not right. Rock of Here's Gibraltar. All right, pick again. Inventors for four hundred. In 1868, he formed a company in Stamford, Connecticut, to produce his new cylinder locks. Linus Yale. All right, pick again. Furniture for four. A low seat with no back and three or four legs. One in a bar is usually taller. Player one. What is a stool? That's correct. That puts you in the lead. Furniture for six. What'll it be, player one? This piece of hall furniture is specifically for holding bumper shoes. Player one. What is an umbrella stand? Why, yes. Yes. Furniture for 800. All right, pick again. In this process of distressing new furniture to look old, Birdshot may be used to create wormhole. Antiquing. Furniture thousand. All right, pick again. It's the French equivalent of a whatnot. An etagere. Alrighty, uh, how about law for 800? The Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act is better known by this acronym. Anyone? Ah, uh, Rico. Ah, figured it out a bit too late. Law for 1,000. In many U.S. jurisdictions, the monoton rule is the test applied for this type of defense. Insanity defense. All right, pick again. Okay, uh, also known as for 600. Robert Smith was the real name of this late lycanthropic DJ known for his howl. Wolfman Jack. 800. All right, pick again. 
Because another actress had the same name, Donna Miller changed to this before she moved to Knott's Landing. Donna Mills. Ah. All right, pick again. Hmm, tough clues here. 1896 for 600. On August 17, 1896, gold was found in Bonanza Creek, a tributary of the Klondike in this present territory. The Yukon Territory. Oh, I should have known that. All right, think again. U.S. triple jumper James Conley won the first Olympic gold medal at the games in this city. Player two. What is Athens? That's it, exactly. Yep. Player two, what will it be? Finishing up that category. England's first autos were built in this city, famous for Lady Godiva's ride. Coventry. Player two, your turn. Inventors for six. Answer there, the other Daily Double. And this one's a video clue, and she's going for a thousand. She'll be in the lead if she's correct. This American inventor of the microphone became a commander of the French Legion of Honor in 1889. Take a look at your phone. All right, let's see. Hmm, I don't think I know who that is. Player two? Alexander Graham Bell? No. Nope. Not Bell. It was Here. Thomas Edison. Ah. Thomas oh, Alva Edison. All right. His first train braking system in the 1860s used steam, not compressed air. Player two? George Westinghouse? Exactly. That was who we needed. All right, pick again. Inventors of Thousand. In 1888, he published his new shorthand method in light line phonography. Player two? John Robert Gregg. You are correct. Yep. And, to and the last clue. This singer who appeared in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome was born Annie May Bullock in Nutbush, Tennessee. Tina Turner. And that's it for the Double Jeopardy round. That's the end of Double Jeopardy. Let's take a look player at the two board. is in the lead with 3,200. I have 2,600, and player three on the board with 300. So player three could possibly play spoiler in Final Jeopardy because player two and I have to guard against each other. And let's take a look at our Final Jeopardy category. Now here's our Final Jeopardy category. Historic documents. Historic documents. Okay. Player three. We have well, player three is likely going to go for all three hundred. I'm going to go for fourteen hundred. Please make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. All right. Here's the. All answer. right. Here's our final Jeopardy answer. Clause 40 of this document reads, To none will we sell, to none deny or delay, right or justice. Hmm. What is the Declaration of Independence? Let's see how everyone did. The Declaration Sorry. of Human Rights. No, that is incorrect. And as I expected, he risked everything. Yeah, you'll get him next time. That will put player three down to zero. Let's see my response. Player one, your question. The Declaration of Independence. 
No. No, that's not the right answer. So I'm good. So I dropped to twelve hundred. Sometimes you get a tough one. And let's see what player two wrote down. <clears throat> player two, let's take a look at your question. Declaration of Human Rights. Well, that's obviously not correct. Let's see how much it cost you. Two thousand one. Bringing player two down to eleven ninety nine. The great charter was what we needed. So I won by a dollar. I won by a dollar. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Well, twelve hundred isn't uh, a whole lot of money, but it's enough to uh, continue my run for this game, and I'm now up to thirty-five thousand two hundred dollars.